So another big topic of discussion, anyone who's met with me regarding uh, having their roof replaced knows that uh, two specific things come up in the topic of that conversation. Uh, The first one is with regards to New Jersey homes and the way that they're built with an extended gap that we know ahead of time that the prefab C4.5 or C3.5 drip edge will not always fit. Let's just get up on the roof. Second part of that conversation is with regards to the lumber. Again, at Signature, we do not leave open-ended contracts. So we make a promise to every homeowner that once we tear this roof off, if there should be any compromised lumber that needs to be replaced, we make the guarantee that we're going to replace that on the day of the job at no additional cost to the homeowner. I'm not aware of any other roofing company that does that, but we are uh, doing that on every single roof for every homeowner. So part of that, number one, we lucked out today because our prefab drip C4.5 does the trick on both ends. And it's like that throughout the perimeter. Which means although we came prepared with trim coil and a bender to fabricate drip custom to fit any type of gap that we would have found, we found that it's just a standard, no exaggeration, regular drip, uh, regular uh, gap. So the drip works. And then obviously we're promising um, that we're getting the underlayment, which is the winter guard, the certainty roof runner. And again, before he gets too much of this paper on, We've already shown the homeowner photos, but we want to show you that not only is this roof deck fully intact, because you can see they've used solid lumber. A lot of times we'll find it to be CDX um, uh, or uh, 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 OSB rather in the like Deffert, Westville, Blackwood areas. But out here in Sicklerville, um, in Winslow Township, a lot of times it's going to be solid lumber. And you'll notice, right, you can see the clips that are in place. So I already know that the spacing between these beams is going to be extended. It's going to be 24 inches rather than 16. But that's okay, right, because it's solid lumber. So the clips are installed properly. But not only that, there's no place on this roof where I can step even in the middle of those beams and feel any kind of bounce. So the entirety of this roof deck, um, you can see both sides of the main here. You can see looking down below both sides of the garage. And then this little lip on the left side of the back of the home. And if you look, all of these boards everywhere are fully intact. Um, and again, we're getting ice and water at the eaves, which is winter guard. We're getting certain teed roof runner for the synthetic paper. And we have C four and a half, not three and a half drip edge in hopes that it would fit. And we luck out today because it does. So our work, other than having to really get the roof deck cleaned up and, and prepped before things are going on, um, our work was cut uh, to its bare minimum today, which we're thankful for. Um, One other thing to notice, there was no ventilation. So if you look at the entirety of the ridge length up on the roof, okay, there's no, um, you know, cuts for ventilation because there was none installed. So that is some work that'll have to be done. You know, the basic carpentry of, you know, taking a saw and cutting out the strip throughout the entirety of the ridge length so that we'll be able to install our certain teed ridge vent which is down here up up alongside the dumpster so again we'll get a new pipe collar we're getting new flashing throughout on this base here on the base of the wall here um, up against the garage uh, pipe collars will be swapped out obviously and uh, again it's going to be a landmark pro dimensional shingle we're using the swift starters and the shadow ridge caps and it's going to be the darkest variety today which is the max definition charcoal black. And I believe that's what we've done on the last three or four roofs. So um, the darker shingle definitely seeming to be the popular choice, at least this fall season. And we'll check back once we start getting some shingles on the roof.